next contestant, Linda Walker. Friendship three. Friendship three, Linda Walker. Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, friendship is a treasure. Friendship is cause for celebration. Friendship gives gifts to all who participate. Now you may say, Linda, those are wonderful platitudes. That was very nice, I agree with them all. But what's with the three in your title, Friendship Three? Well, three is my number. I was born the third month of the year. I was born the third kid of six. I have three brothers, and I'm one of three sisters. And I'm going to tell you about a friendship of three. Donna Ray, Margaret Rose, and myself, Linda Liu. We met in middle school, silly, giggly, energetic girls. Then we went on to high school together, football games, overnights. I want to tell you about Donna Ray. She was an unusually beautiful girl. She was one of those who is the most authentically kind person you could ever hope to meet. Even people who didn't know her saw there was something wonderfully unique about her inside and out. For example, one time at my high school, a representative from Miss America came to the school. She wanted to meet with all senior girls. I thought, I want to be Miss America. I've got that wave down, holding the flowers. So I went to the meeting. I don't remember a single thing that lady said. But I do remember one question she asked. She looked around the room, and then she said, could someone please go and ask the student Donna Ray to come to this meeting? After high school graduation, we all chose to get, go to the same college. Hooray! And another three came into play. Three boyfriends. One for Margaret Rose and two for Donna Ray. <laughs> <laughs> September and October. Dorm life, new experiences, wonderful classes. In November, Donna Ray was elected homecoming freshman class princess. She represented us so well, and because of that honor, the rest of the college got to know her and love her. In December, two things happened. Donna Ray turned 19 years old, and Donna Ray was diagnosed with cancer. In the hospital room, there were three groups able to go and visit Donna Ray. One was her parents, one was her two boyfriends, and one was Margaret Rose and myself. She asked me, Linda, be sure to take good notes in philosophy class for me. And I said, oh, I will, Donna Ray. And then she asked us both, what do I do about the two boyfriends that are out there? And we said, you don't have to choose one today. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> In January, Donna Ray died. The college was shocked. Her parents were devastated. And in fact, at the cemetery, there's one scene I could never forget. It was of her mother clinging to her daughter's coffin unwilling, even unable to let go, and the grieving father trying to pull her away so they could lower the coffin. Mm. During the next 20 years, Margaret Rose and I each became school teachers. She became a high school English teacher. I became an elementary fifth grade teacher. We both got married, and we each had, you guessed it, Three kids. <laughs> <laughs> she had a daughter and two sons. 
I had a son and two daughters, and we used to say, wouldn't it be great if they all got married to each other and then we'd be triple in-laws? <laughs> it was 20 years after Donna Ray died that Margaret Rose was diagnosed with cancer. She fought it valiantly. She kept going on with her life. One scene I'll always remember, she was sitting at the organ, sitting on the bench, playing the organ at church, and her little nine-year-old son came up and sat on the bench next to her, leaning his head against her shoulder. That last summer, she was finishing up her master's degree. In August of that summer, she died. The day after her littlest son turned 10, she received her master's degree posthumously. I mourned my friend. I thought, good grief, who's next? <laughs> 20 years later, it was me. I went through the three prongs of treatment. Uh, I went through surgery, chemo, and radiation. Afterwards, the doctor calls me into the office and says, Mrs. Walker, you are unremarkable. Now you may say, well, that wasn't very nice to call you that, Linda. Even if sometimes, hold it. <laughs> <laughs> unremarkable is a medical term that means there's nothing abnormal growing. I was thankful. Today, I volunteer to promote treatment and research for cancer. Today, I volunteer to provide hats, wigs, and scarves for those who are undergoing cancer treatment. Today, I still honor my friends. I celebrate my friends because, you know what? Good friends like numbers, go on forever. Madam Postmaster. Yeah.